In this video I'll hopefully be answering some questions you might have if you've just started your A-levels and are interested in applying to medical school. One of the first questions which might come to mind is, how many subjects should I do? Really it doesn't matter all too much how many subjects you do, but you do have to do at least three. If you want to do four or five and you have the time, interest and ability then that's great. But the thing to be careful about is whether doing four or five subjects will detract from the rest of your application in any way, or whether you'll be spreading yourself too thinly. To give an example, it would be much better to get three A's than to get two A's and two B's, because that's the difference between meeting your offer for medical school, if you're lucky enough to get one, and missing it, which would be a massive pain in the ass. Um, as far as I know, there are no medical schools who give preference to anyone who does five subjects, though you might be able to use it to your advantage when writing your personal statement by saying you've managed to keep up with this kind of workload as well as doing all this and this shows your you have great time management skills and, and blah 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 but it's not necessary at all you only need to do three subjects all right so the second question you might ask yourself is which subject should i do at a level if i want to apply to medical school well, above all, the one subject that you absolutely have to do is chemistry. Not one medical school lets you get away without doing chemistry, at least to AS level, and most want it to the full A level. So that's unavoidable, so get that one out of the way uh, right at the start. Biology, on the other hand, isn't always compulsory, which might seem contrary to what most people think, because biology, medicine, you, you think they go hand in hand. But you don't need it. There are a handful of places that let you get away with not doing it at all. Um, there's a couple of places that want you to have it to full A level, and, and other places want you have to have it just to AS level. What you'll find that a lot of places ask for is, um, if you're doing biology and chemistry, if one is offered at full A level, then the other has to be offered to AS at at least a grade B. A couple of examples of places that do this are Cardiff, uh, Barts and the London, and Durham, to name just a few. So those are the two main subjects you want to be thinking about. Definitely have to do chemistry. Don't have to do biology. I personally found it helpful. Um, in terms of having to do other subjects, there really there really isn't one. Um, yeah, I think I think that's that's about it. So what subjects shouldn't you do? Well, there are a couple of subjects which will never be included in your offer if you end up getting one. And these are critical thinking and general studies. When you do general studies, you'll understand why. Um, I'm not sure about critical thinking. I think it's just because it's only one hour a week and really just doesn't compare in substance or difficulty to, to the other A-levels you'll be doing. So it's, it's not included in the standard offer of AAA. Um, some subjects you might want to avoid uh, avoid are the subjects that are considered a little bit softer than the rest, like um, media studies or sociology. Not that there's anything wrong with these subjects, it's just that when you're applying against people who have physics, maths, English literature, geography, um, so on, as their third subject, and the universities are asking for one more rigorous academic subject alongside biology and chemistry, um, you might face some difficulty uh, in justifying media studies as a rigorous academic subject, if you see what I mean. So you might want to avoid doing subjects like that. If chemistry and biology are your first two A-levels, you might be wondering what would be your best choice for your third A-level. And the answer is, it depends on where you apply. To give an example, Barts and the London say they don't really mind whether your third A-level is a non-science or science, whereas UCL on the other hand say they give preference to people who show a contrasting third subject at A-level. For example, people who have chemistry, biology, um, English or chemistry, biology, art or something like that. So yeah, it depends on where you apply. Check the admissions criteria of the university in question and make sure you're eligible to apply. I think the answer to this is mainly no, but sometimes yes. 
mainly no because there's no particular medical school that uh, offers any preference to people doing four science subjects at A-level. Um, and it's generally not an issue. Could be advantageous though if you apply to places that use the BMAT, which is a very nasty entrance test, the second section of which is um, filled with science. It's got biology, chemistry, maths, and physics in, and although the content is apparently just to GCSE standard, the actual style of questions and application is a lot harder. And personally, having done maths, chemistry, biology, and physics at A level, I found it a lot less daunting to approach in both revising and actually taking the test um, than I probably would have if I hadn't done these subjects. So it could be advantageous in that way. Uh, another way it might be advantageous is if you're applying to Cambridge. The vast majority of successful applicants to medicine there have all of their A-levels as science. I think it's something like 96%. And only a very small percentage, something like 5, um, of those who are successful got in with three science A-levels or less. So if you're applying there, then do lots of science A-levels. Um, that also happens to be one of the universities that uses the BMAT. If you're applying to other BMAT use, uh, universities, it might be advantageous to do all science A-levels, but it is by no means a necessity, so don't think you have to. Okay, I think I'll wrap it up there. Good luck with making your decisions, and hopefully there'll be a couple more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.